Hey, don't hate on uh, don't hate on Starbucks. Nah, John Ross or um, Henry Ruggs will be good, I think. I think he'll be um, Deshaun Jackson. AJ Dillon's getting close. He's truly a 77. 92 trucking, 87 stiff arm. Here's that super fast safety we picked up. Total project. Not a good upgrade either. Okay, we have two division games left. My guess is uh, Tom Brady retired here in Tampa Bay. Laz kid, same reason the Titans traded for Ryan Tannehill. Derek Carr is not the guy. He's he's a guy. He's a good quarterback, but they don't look at him as the guy. And if he struggles, they want someone to turn to, and they want an out. It's so they don't feel trapped. Um, Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. We are not playing this week. I want to take a look at negotiations. So Rick Wagner, we're definitely letting him just hit the market. He's going to regress like crazy if he doesn't retire. Chan Sullivan, I do want to bring him back. He's asking for a little much. Same with Equinemius, Raven Green, Orrin Burks just had a nice upgrade. I don't think he would sign for a cheap one-year prove-it prove it contract. And honestly, Summers hasn't done anything as far as I can tell. I'll check the stat sheet. That offer is just poor, says Oren Burks. I want to see what, what um, Ty Summers has done, because we've been playing him all year, and I haven't noticed him once. Dylan's going to have a really nice season. Adams has become our number one receiver again. The stat sheet's looking good this year. Monty Rice having a great rookie season. Jair has four picks. Eric Stokes has two picks. Yeah, Summers only has 54 tackles. I think we need to uh, make a little move here. So... We're going to flip these guys. And then I think sub linebacker as well. We'll flip that. All right. So Simmons this week. Wow. We made the playoffs already in week 15, but what a week. 42 to 14. Jeez, Rodgers. Tom Brady's still going. We might actually get four 1,000-yard receivers, depending on how this finishes. Wow, Warren Burks and Monty Rice. Warren Burks is making a late push here for another opportunity here. He had a nice upgrade. Why would I make a change now? Because we've made the playoffs. We still got to fight for the one seed. Saints are right behind us. 20 morale for the team. So we're dealing with Eric Kendricks. I am going to neutralize him. Do I know who Jerome PKR is? I do not. We're gonna neutralize Dalvin Cook and... Love might get the week 17 star. We'll see how it all plays out. I wanna scout like the big bodied guys that could play D end. Upgrades, Devontae Smith. What a year he has had. Kingsley Kiki. I'm actually just gonna go power rusher. It's what he's good at.
All right, play the moments. One NFL player I hate, but people seem to like. That's an interesting question. Hate's a strong word. I mean, Cam Newton. I don't hate Cam Newton, though. I just... I just don't think he's ever going to play at a high level again because of his shoulder. And I think people are ridiculous for saying all these things like, how do you sign this back up over Cam Newton? It's like, well, he's got a functional throwing arm. It's not that difficult. Oh, I thought we were going to pick that with Burks. Third and one, let's blast it up. We got Teague in there. Oh, I don't think I got that. Let's try that again. We're gonna trust Dylan. Vikings have Daniil Hunter as a three tech. Whew. So the Vikings switched to a 3-4, but of course they don't change their edge players. Shouldn't expect anything less. I should really go through for like my Panthers rebuild. I should take team take time to comb through all the teams. So that that crap doesn't happen. Oh, just get rid of it. Oh my god. What a throw. Wow, Aaron. That was a ridiculous throw. He just made a window where there wasn't one. Jeez, Dylan just juked out Harrison Smith. I wasn't going to try to truck him. Easy Austin Prohl touchdown here. Whoop. God, those goal line defenses are so bad. What if we have three... I'm not going to play the field goal. What if we have three receivers make the Pro Bowl and our tight end? That would be pretty nasty. Sit down. Just good job holding on to the football, that's all I'll say. <laughs> What's wrong with the Twins, Redwood? What do you got against the Twins? Huh? Get there! Oh. First incompletion for Aaron on the day. Too easy. Too easy. You're giving me two free touchdowns in the red zone. Oh, the blitz is coming. It's going to be a pretty easy touchdown for Smith. I think he's got Kendricks on him. Thought it was going to be a touchdown, but we'll take that. Oh, we actually trucked Harrison Smith. A.J. Dillon's coming along. That was an alert screen. I thought it was just a screen straight up. Oh my god, what a throw. Austin Kroll, have a day. <laughs> this wide receiver core is so ideal, too, because you got Adams, the route runner, you got the deep threat in Devontae Smith, and then the slot guy in Kroll. Four turnovers for the Vikings today.
Jeez. I'm going off. Might be Jordan Love time here. Ah, oh, good throw. Jamar Chase on the Vikes. Reuniting the LSU receiving core. Maybe they can get Joe Burrow in there. It's pretty cool. Now they just need Thad Moss to re reignite the Randy Moss energy. Knocked it out. All right, Jordan Love time. Eric Stokes, our first round corner, has eight tackles today. I feel like he's having a pretty good rookie year. We're not actually supposed to be playing right now. We'll, we'll play this hand off. Oh, that was a long release. Quick red zone after that. God, six turnovers for Kirk Cousins. Yuck. yard day for AJ Dillon that puts him over a thousand on the season come on love let's get a touchdown here yeah good job it's his second touchdown on the year I think GG's I don't know why Mike Zimmer changed to a 3-4 defense oh wait no that's Ron Rivera Imagine going from Mike Zimmer to Ron Rivera. Maybe Zimmer retired or something. It's got to be what happened. I guess they did have like a top five pick. Want to say hi to the chat, Teddy? Before we're done? We only got one more game left. You gotta go say hi. Hi, guys. Hi, chat. Jake Verity, the kicker pick paying off. He's gained four accuracy this year. It's pretty good. Parole gets an upgrade. All right, one more next week. The Saints dropped another game, so that means if we win, we get to play Jordan Love next week. Now, it'd be a sim, but we'd at least get to see how he plays in simulation. <laughs> Yeah, my offensive coordinator here is very stout now. I needed you during the Patriots game, Teddy. What the heck? He said you were too you were too angry. You were yelling too much. I like that we wear the all whites on the road. And I don't know how I feel about these green socks. I kind of dig them though, actually. Nice play. Ooh, Rodgers threw a pick earlier. Put in love. Rodgers washed, confirmed. I feel like these are baseball jerseys with these socks. You gotta hurry up so they can't get into goal line. At least can't get into a true goal line. God, that little flip is so nice. Being able to get rid of the ball that quick is so nice. Look at Matt Patricia, or Matt LaFleur on the field down there. <laughs> uh, defense needs help. Second and six. Oh no. Why did Swift cut inside? He had a touchdown there. <laughs> Oh, gosh. A couple of good runs. Hi, chatty boy. I woke him up, and now he can't sit still. Two-minute drill. 
I like this run lane. Give me room to go. There we go. Gets out of bounds. What a run. God, beast mode. Well, we may have fired Brian Gutekunst, but he was right about A.J. Dillon. The difference is our wide receiving core would not be nearly this good. Ah, that was bad. Bad look right there. I thought it was cover four. All good. Live to see another day. Go! Is he? Is Smith hurt? Why was he running so slow? I wonder if he's hurt. He was slow as hell right there. We got the St. Browns on the outside. Should we go double St. Brown post? Oh, he almost had that. Teddy. We're almost done. Uh-oh. Can we get the field goal unit out in time? I don't think so. Hurry up. That contain really got me. I was going to roll out. I really, all I want to do is just roll out, survey, and then throw it out of bounds. But that contain flew in. I couldn't throw the ball out. It's good defense. Does Teddy make rebuilds for you, Argos? Does Teddy make deep dives for you? Does Teddy do draft analysis? Did that change your mind? Nice catch, St. Brown. It's a big uh, third down here. Good D. God, Stafford has done nothing. Wow, we need a win to lock up the one seed. Dylan, God, we get stopped at the one-yard line so much. Should we give it to third-round pick Josiah DeGuara? Where's the fullback dive? Come on. There's got to be one in here. I know I saw it. Nope, okay. I like our numbers over here, though. Oh, shoot. Jeez, he got low there. Oh, Prol sneaks into the back of the end zone. Let's go. He's a touchdown machine. Oh. Oh, yeah, Teddy. Tell me about it, huh? Oh, jeez. Lost like six yards there. Nice. Good job, D. Yeah. Do you have to go potty? Do you? Do you want a tree? Are you a good boy? Tell me. Tell me. Are you? Tell me. Oh, you are? Yeah? Oh, you are. Teddy. Oh. Oh, shitty boy. Come here. Hop, hop. 
<laughs> oh, this dog. Come here, lover boy. <laughs> Hi, love. Teddy just jumped off my lap. He was ready. Oh! Need you to bench press that guy just a little more, Bakhtiari. One more first down and this thing's over. Is it true that I want another dog? Yeah, I want a big dog, but not like right now. Not in a not in an apartment. If I ever get a house. I want like a Bernice Mountain Dog, just a big fluffer. Get up. All right, Jake Verity, this is your moment. Dude, Mastiffs are huge. Mastiffs are crazy. Oh, what a kick. That ought to do it. Fifth make of 50 yards. All right, we are out of here. I am gonna just look at awards and do a recap before we get out of here. I don't know when the next stream will be. Probably unlikely that it's tomorrow. Wednesday is potentially. We are gonna get a peek at Jordan Love, but a, what a two loss season. This year was supposed to be iffy with all those depth issues, but the team really stepped up. Ooh, Jair's gonna go up to 90 overall and get... Oh my god. Oh my god. He gets man up. That's that's huge to get that before playoffs start. Simon Stepniak's coming along at right guard as well. He's played really well. It's too bad he can't earn dev traits for offensive linemen. He's held up really well when we've played. I'm tempted to even give him star. We talked about those three, those three offensive linemen they took at the back end of the 20, the most recent draft. I liked all the guys they took. Um, I think one, if not multiple of them will work out really well. And in this world, Simon Stepniak is that guy. We might, uh, might be realistic to give him star dev. Adams wants the week off. All right. It's like exactly what happened to Patrick Mahomes. He was a rookie, granted, but they benched all their starters. He came out week 17. All right. So the Matt LaFleur revenge game is this. Play well, Jordan Love. Play well. Ooh, he won. I don't know how well he played. We only scored 17 points, but I haven't really watched Trey Lance yet, Timo. Whoops, that's not our game. Uh, where are we? Yeah, pretty good game for love. So we're going to wrap this thing up. Gonna look at our end of season stats. All hail Dr. T TFGF. Love is definitely ready. He might even be better than Rogers next year after regression. Let's make sure Adams is back in. And then let's look at stats, awards, do our upgrades, and then we'll be out of here. Been a super fun stream, guys. So Rodgers, only 4,000 yards, but awesome season. 38 touchdowns, five picks. Dylan went off. Only eight touchdowns. Teague kind of vultured some of them, but still a good season. Adams and Smith end up with 1,000. Prohl and Sternberger end up short, but both those guys double-digit touchdowns. Stepniak only gave up four sacks. I do think that's fair, right? Give him star. 
they took three dart swings at at a, a center and two guards that were all top 10 at their position according to my own draft board he's emerged as the guy i think that's fair he played great he started 16 games he's a he was a really good player at um Indiana. I actually like him a decent amount. He was like my sixth guard, seventh guard. Um, as far as the defense goes, ten and a half sack. Yeah, Dean Lowry really earning it. We almost cut him, but glad we didn't. Gary was way too quiet. Hate to see that. But Rice could be defensive rookie of the year. The the picks that we made, like Rice and Devontae Smith. Just balled out. Even Eric Stokes, 88 tackles. Holy hell. Chan and Sullivan had a great season. Pass rush was a little underwhelming. Verity was hit, hit or miss, quite literally. Let's see. Um, I didn't even play Adams. Whatever. Wait, wait, wait. Don't look. Oh, looks like Devontae Smith won something. All right, yearly awards. Rodgers was not even close to MVP. That's crap. Rice was third for Defensive Player of the Year. Smith was only fifth for Offensive Rookie. Rice did win Defensive Rookie. Rodgers won Best Quarterback. Curtis Samuel, Best Wide Receiver. Bakhtiari won best offensive lineman. Jerry Alexander. Yeah, I don't know how you win best QB, but aren't even on the MVP list. And win 14 games. That's that's some BS. So let's do our upgrades and we'll be out of here. Devontae Smith. Go with a couple deep threats. Nice. What a stud. Kenny Clark, what, did he make a Pro Bowl? All right. Not gonna complain about that. Lindsley, he must have made the Pro Bowl, yep. Good year on the franchise tag. Glad we got him locked up. J.K. Scott. One of the better punters in the league. Oops. A.J. Dillon. He must have made Pro Bowl. Really? No Pro Bowl for A.J. Dillon? That's some crap. He's close to getting that power back, though. That um, bowling ball or stiff arm or whatever it's going to be. Sternberger. He made the Pro Bowl. He might go up to uh, star, I would think. I'm actually going to go vertical threat for him. Eh. It's good to get those routes, I guess. Dean Lowry. He must have. Uh, yeah, he made the Pro Bowl. Bounce back season for him, finally paying off that contract. He's making a decent chunk of change. It's like six mil. Equinemius. Okay, so when we come back, we'll try to finish what we couldn't last year. Um, I will be tweeting, guys. At TFG Plays is the Twitter. That's at TFG Plays. Make sure you give that a follow on Twitter because I'll tweet out when I'm going live. I will upload this on YouTube throughout tomorrow and probably Wednesday. It's gonna be, what was this, a two hour stream. So probably about four or five episodes from this stream. Um, that's this link right here. I will have a huge, I guess that's not uh, that's not the YouTube link. It's, um, it's YouTube dot com slash c slash tfg plays there's the link and then um tomorrow guys tomorrow night 
We are in season seven of the Chiefs. Wow, we're already in season seven of that. Let me load that up real quick. So we are in season seven. I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna lose, um, I gotta make sure I save that because I don't wanna lose my progress. You gotta be really careful with these files because you can lose all your progress if you don't save. Let me save this and then do a quick little preview. Um, don't wanna overwrite the Panthers either. Gotta be careful with that. They look just the same. The, uh, the Packers won the Super Bowl in year six. Now, I'm going to be... I think I'm done uploading the Chiefs games on TFG Plays because we got this, we got the Patriots stuff. I don't really have time to edit up three stream series. I think I'm done uploading that. So you're really going to have to follow the at TFGO Chiefs on Twitter and make sure you're catching all the games live. Um, you can always watch the VODs too. Like, if you go into my Twitch account, you can always watch the recorded replays of it. Um, but we're playing the Colts, who's one of the best users in this league. We always have great games. So this game's going to be tomorrow night. I don't have a time scheduled quite yet, but probably around 8 or 9 Eastern. So the Twitter handle for this one is TFGO Chiefs. I'll be retweeting it from TFG Plays for sure. Um, but this will be tomorrow, um, and we'll recap the offseason and all that stuff before we play there. So lots of exciting stuff ahead. We're starting deep dives up next year, uh, next week on YouTube, which is like the most fun thing I do on my YouTube channel. So lots of exciting stuff ahead. That was a super fun stream, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching, commenting, all that. Um, but peace out. Love you all. Have a great night.